What up, people? It's your boy, Stealth Jet, back at it once again. And I'm here to bring you some more gameplay. If you're wondering why I sound a bit, uh, what's the word? More chipper than usual. It's because this is my second time recording today. Yeah, y'all are, are very lucky. But anyways, hey, did you know that I stream? Yeah, I stream this game on that YouTube channel. So if you want to see a stream happen live when I play this game right here, then uh, sub to that channel. Also, there's some previous streams up there as well. So, you know, binge watch my streams if you'd like to. But yeah, as I was saying, I tried to record two videos a day. But in this case, I got so bored, I said to myself, you know what, bro, let me go ahead and record another video or two. And here we are. Matter of fact, here we are on the Verg Forest. And it is proper daytime. Proper daytime. When I say that, I mean the amount of snow you see on your screen right now might cause your eyelids to close a little bit because of how bright everything is. Personally, personally me, I like dark mode on literally everything. But there, there, there is no dark mode in terms of snow. I mean, unless it's volcanic ash, but we're not going to talk about that. Hey, yo, devs, vol vol volcano map? When? That'd be cool. Oh, what the fuck? Suppressed weapon fire. One thing you never want to do is rush an ADR. You never want to rush an ADR-97. Because if the guy knows what he's doing, he will kill you in about one second, if not half a second. But, in this case, it worked out. And I was trying to make it clean. And I will go ahead and say this. That was very dirty. I could have played that a lot better. But... I feel like I was running out of time because homeboy was doing his rounds and he was about to move on. So, it was then or never. But, in this case... <laughs> homeboy was aiming at the sky and shooting. What did he see? Hostile trees. I'm joking, but he probably saw UFOs. Okay, to be real guys, I don't know why he was aiming up there with this Thompson and a bag full of literal, no, my bad, two Thompsons. That shit crazy. Two Thompsons and a bag worth of ammunition for said Thompson. But uh, I, I don't know what he was doing, but you know, VSS headshots, you know what I'm saying? We, we like to see them on this channel, especially me watching him post while I'm editing this here video. So, uh, yeah, we, we like to see those. We do. And there's a very specific reason as to why I chose this VSS instead of the ADR that my first kill had. 
I can pull off a headshot with an LD6 and or a VSS. But I feel like if I were to take an ADR, that would hurt me. And I say that because this map is pretty much medium to long range engagement. And an ADR-97 does its work best at short to medium. When I say medium, I mean like maybe 50, 55, 60 meters away from you. That's when this thing goes ham. By this thing, I mean ADR. But the VSS, on the other hand, if I see somebody and they don't see me, I can get them quietly. And yes, that was my Xbox going off. I can get them quietly. Which means nobody in the surrounding area should know that I'm around. And yes, I made a very huge assumption right there. What I basically said was, I basically said that no one in this game wears headphones. Notice how I said, what the fuck? Suppressed weapon fire? Yeah, because I had in headphones. I could hear him firing with a suppressed weapon. But most players, 80, 82% of players in this game don't wear headphones. So if I shoot the VSS and I hit the guy, no one knows I fired. If a tree falls in the forest, does anyone hear it? Damn, that was a pun. Guys, I'm sorry. I should not have said that. I, okay, let me, you know what? Let me focus on the game with my terrible commentary. We're crossing the river. And you're supposed to do it like this. That's probably the best I've ever crossed that river. Rivers in this game mean death, especially on Valley. But yeah, I'm going up here to this uh, other comp station. You know, the one that's um, on this lookout here above me to my left. But you never know. There might be someone that's, um, you know, doing the exact same thing as you. The exact same thing. You see this guy's bag? He could have messed me up entirely. Like, entirely. Why Why did he not fire? Get ready. Why did he not fire? My dear viewer, I don't know. I legitimately don't know. But I'm glad he didn't. Because if he did, I would have been dead. You see, that's why you don't follow behind somebody too closely. Because you're comfortable when you're hearing footsteps. But as soon as they stop, you gotta think to them. You gotta think to yourself: Did they stop in a bush? Did they go prone? Did they stop in a tree? Because the moment you stop hearing footsteps, that's the moment when the enemy stops giving you clues as to where you're at. Then you gotta use your brain. You gotta use your brain. But if you guess wrong and or walk straight in front of them, that's your ass. And it is what it is. Oh look, an airdrop. That's um, that's awfully close, isn't it? And I do remember putting radiation on said airdrop. 
And I got a grenade on me. You know how it go. So yes, my dear viewer, we are going to go down there and put radiation on the airdrop. Yes, we are. But, you know me, I'm extra cautious. You see, I seen where the airdrop landed, but I didn't see it actually land. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know where it's at on the ground. And yes, I know, you see it on your screen, like right there on the right hand side of your screen, but I wasn't looking in that direction as my Xbox goes off twice in this here video. I didn't look at that direction. I was looking at the ground. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking about if there's any campers nearby waiting for this airdrop, where would they be at? Maybe this tree right here? As I'm looking at the base of the tree, see anybody prone? Nope. Maybe that hill up there? Uh, nope. This house to my left, someone might be on one knee in the corner, waiting for the end of the match before they grab the airdrop? Answer is no. So I'm going to toss the grenade, and I'm going to, I don't know, panic a little bit, and then dip. But I'm looking, not really looking, but I'm listening with my right ear to that red house, and I don't hear a thing. And you see I turn around, and I'm like, you mean tell me there's nobody in that house? There is nobody in that house? I don't believe that. I don't believe that one bit. Well, maybe I'm right. Maybe nobody is in the house. Okay then. Well, I guess I'm gonna uh, run this way and just put that airdrop behind me. After I use a port and I see this guy right here. It does not take a rocket scientist to figure out what this motherfucker right here is trying to do. Watch this.
It is not over until it is over. Plain and simple. Just because you see the finish line does not mean you actually finished. You gotta cross the finish line to finish. Just because you see an exit and you killed the guy guarding the exit doesn't mean you actually exited. You gotta get in there and wait for 10 seconds. And that wait for 10 seconds part is hella important. Hella important. Because most players, myself included, will sit still and said exit. Those 10 seconds, you can still die. Just like me running toward this exit right now, I can still get shot at. Hell, you just saw me get shot at. Right? I'm telling y'all this because, like I said, and like the video title says, it is not over until it's over. And yes, two people died to the same airdrop in this one encounter. Shit crazy. And now it's over. Until you see that screen right there, that little loading screen, you still liable to die. You are still liable to have some random ass bullet catch you in your head and everything's gone. Every single piece of resources that you worked for in that encounter, gone. In an instant. You hear me? But I didn't know that there's gonna be two people there. The first guy waited for the airdrop carrier. That's why he was perched up on that little ridge right there. The second guy who was prone with an LD5 in a tree, he was stalking me. He wanted to kill me because I was a threat. And yes, I'm not trying to be boastful about that, but we all know that there's a little XP bonus when you kill a threat. Hell, the lady even tells you, you know, make sure they don't leave alive or some shit like that. There's an incentive to killing a threat. And there's an even bigger incentive for the threat to leave out of there alive. At least in my opinion. But anyways, folks, I hope you have enjoyed this one. Because that's it. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.